I really started getting into meditation because my mom uh, introduced me to a sports psychologist. Um, I think it was after my first year or second year. I can't remember. But at the time, I was like, I don't really, I'm not really into the whole psychology. Like, I'm fine. I'm not crazy. Yada, mm. yada, yada. Um, so that really opened my eyes to meditation. I ended up going to him um, like three or four sessions. And I kind of liked it. I mean, it was an extra, it was, it was, um, it was like something extra to add to my game that mm. wasn't necessarily physical, um, but it was mental. And anytime I can get the upper hand on somebody or people, then, you know, I'll, I'll try to get the upper hand. So I feel like that was the opportunity um, to do so. I mean, not a lot of people, sports people, I don't think. And now more than ever, I think yes. But back then, like, it wasn't really a thing to meditate or uh, at least it wasn't talked about openly. That's mm. why. I'm um, trying to bring awareness to that because I think it's okay to talk about, you know, mental health and, and sports especially, but life too. Um, everybody goes through something, and not a lot of people talk about it because from the outside looking in, you think everybody's life is, oh, they're Instagram, they're this, they're mm. that, but there's more to that. Um, so I just want to shed light on that um, and have a, and make it so people are okay talking about that. Um, I think that's important, and I think that could – help people in the long run whatever their profession is I feel like uh, mental health if you're happy mentally I feel like you can achieve pretty much whatever your goal is talk about your stance on meditation a little bit um, as I practice meditation I, I obviously was in the beginning I was trying to use it as a tool to fix yeah. something and change things but just you know talk about the paradoxical nature and, and what you've experienced with that so it was weird bro like I first started meditating like a couple years ago two or three years ago and it was kind of like I didn't like it at first because I was starting to realize um, you know, thoughts that you'd have during a game or during mm. a practice. It's like, oh my God, like, am I actually thinking that yeah. right now? And it's kind of like a weird, like, oh wait, I was kind of better off without meditating because exactly. I wasn't really like aware of what I was thinking. It was just kind of like, oh yeah, like I'm thinking that. It wasn't like a, there wasn't a center. Yeah. Um, but now like if I can, I can like see my thoughts, it's weird. Like I can see my thoughts and if I'm going down the wrong track, like I can, mm. I can get back center easier than I could back in the day. Um, sometimes, I mean, you know, you have those days where you just are just like, your mind just feels like a fog. I mean, it just happens, but I feel like the quicker you can get back to center and realize that your thoughts are taking you down the wrong path. I think that's the, that's the end goal. I don't think there's like a special recipe to meditation. Everybody's journey is different, like you said. Um, but for me, it's like when I first started meditating, like I said, it was like, oh my gosh, like I'm thinking some like, whoa, like, yeah. that's not right. And I shouldn't be thinking this during the game or like miss a free throw, like, oh my God, I got to make the next one. Like, yeah. that's not healthy for me. So now like I, I can realize what I'm thinking and when I'm going down that wrong path and center myself quicker, what do I think about to get back to center? And it's like, you know, I've tried to think about my breath. I know people say that that's what makes you center, mm. but it's like, if you're thinking about your breath and then you're like, okay, am I doing it? Am I doing it? Yeah. It's like, that doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, so for me, I'm like a visual learner. So like, I know I'm centered when I can, if I'm thinking things that are crazy, like I just look at my thoughts kind of like on a platform mm. and it's like, your thoughts want to latch you. They want you to grab them and like go down that dark path. So like for me, it's like, I look at them, see them for what they are, just thoughts, bro. And I just let them pass. Like your, your body knows how to get to center. It's mm -hmm. just your mind. That's, that's not always there. Uh, I read a quote that was like, your body's always present, bro. Yeah. It yeah. has no choice but to be present, but your mind's not. So, like, I kind of use that visual, like, I can see my thoughts and I don't have to grab them and latch on to them. If I, don't, if I know that's taking me down a dark place, like, thoughts I don't want to think about, that's, that's the key to me, bro. And I think that's what helps. I think that's – but that's one thing we, we should dive in a little deeper, though, because – you, you talked about that's a thought I don't want to go down the path. Right. Like a lot of people think it's like, oh, get rid of it. Follow the breath. Right. But you, then you talked about, you know, just letting it go. It'll leave by itself. It will. If you're really just present with it, go into that process of, of what you really experience when you feel that. So it's like I've known now that if I follow the, if I follow a thought I don't want to think about, like during a game, because well, mm. we're talking about hoops, say like missing the next shot. If yeah. I'm following that thought and that's all I'm thinking about, like, holy crap. Yeah. I mean, you're down, you're just down the wrong path. Um, but like if I can take that and I know it's just a thought, it's any thought is just a thought, good or bad. It's how you interpret it that mm. makes it good or bad. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if I can just take a thought as a thought and not really make it bigger than what it is, I feel like you'll naturally come to a place of flow. You can't force flow and you can't force thoughts to go away because the more you resist it, 
the more it persists, right? Exactly. Yeah. So for me, it's like okay, I know I, I know it'll pass. Like you say, let go, mm-hmm. and um, you don't really need to dive into every single thought. You talked about you know not necessarily having like a way to practice, and I think that's as I've developed my practice, that's what I've understood too. It's like you don't necessarily have something you tune into. It's just no. whatever's there. You experience it for what it is. And it'll pass, whatever it is, you know, right. it, you just don't, you're learning how to just experience life instead of react to it. Right. But just talk about that, what you understood, that it's not necessarily like you do this every time, you do this every time. Right. Because if you if you have that mentality, it's almost like you are forcing a result right. versus just experiencing what's there. So I guess go into your experience with that. Yeah, man. So it's interesting to me, like, I like talking to people about their flow and because it's like, it can be completely different to yours, yeah. but it works for them. Um, I feel like meditating and that journey is what works for you not every everybody's the same yeah. um, regards to like their center their, your center might be different than my center mm-hmm. everybody's thoughts are different um, but I feel like once once you're aware that you will come to a state of peace and flow um, if you don't latch on to everything like for me if I don't latch on to all these different thoughts because I'm aware of them there was an analogy it was like it's like cars passing by and you're just trying to be the yeah. the observer of the cars. Mm. I mean, good or bad. Like, yeah, um, when you're thinking of good thoughts, I mean, you know, it's it's good for your inner self. I mean, the belief, the faith, you have to have good thoughts. I mean, mm-hmm. but I don't think you, you're not only going to think positive thoughts because you start thinking like that. It's like when a negative one comes, like, are you scared of it? Like, what is yeah. it? Like, I'm just I try to get in a place where it's like good or bad. I don't try to latch on to much, but I mean, you do want to have good self-talk, positive self-talk, like during a game, like everything's okay, like you're fine, breath. Like sometimes the breath will bring me to that in a game. Like Mm -hmm. I'll just be like, deep breath, okay, I'm back center. Um, But I try not to latch on to everything, man, and just kind of let things happen. 